ladies and gentlemen, some, you know, a subscriber from the Bahamas, uh, Dionzo Roll, you are in my prayer. You really are. And I am so sorry that you're going through this. And I know how scary it is. So I'm going to go ahead and play these videos that I was sent. And this is the actual footage from the Bahamas. So I'll do each one, one by one. <laughs> Please pray for us. Please pray for us, everyone. Please pray for us. Me and my baby. My, everyone that's staying in the apartment building, we stuck right here. Please pray for us. Please pray for us. Pray for Abigail, please. I'm begging y'all. My baby's on the floor, but so please pray for us. I'm begging y'all. Pray for us. The apartment building, as we stay in, the, the whole roof came off. We standing right here. Um, um, people trying to make it to the other side with this white um, house is, but some people, um, the water just took them. And those are the only people that got to make it over there. Some people didn't get to make it. Um, everyone, I'm not seeing you please.
came off our whole fabric apartment building. That's one video. I have another one to show y'all. You know, thank you so much for sending these videos because this is the only way we're going to know what's going on. Mark us set. Boys, I'm gone. Mark us set. Yeah, I'm still looking at reports that's talking about 200 mile an hour wind. So um, I know that that is not good. Okay. Wow, that was. Wow. Wow, the window blew out. All right, man, I got one more to show y'all. feeling is when these storms happen and it gets dark because if anything is flying you can't see what direction it's coming in you hear all of the wind rattling the windows and in some of these cases completely breaking the window and in 220 mile per hour wind I don't know what window protection you're going to put up and it's going to work. It, you know, it is, it's dire. And the sad part is this thing is far from over. They are projecting that it may end up in Florida by tomorrow. You know, at first they said Tuesday. Now they're saying possibly by tomorrow. And I think they really don't know what's going to happen because in one instance, it was going to bypass Florida and hit the Carolinas. Now Florida is back in its path. So they really, truly don't know. You know, whether it hits Florida or not, uh, Florida, just please prepare yourself because you just don't know. And those of you in the Bahamas, my heart goes out to you. I will definitely be praying for all of you to be safe and Oh my goodness, what a horrible thing. You know, I wish I could help each and every one of you, but I know I really can't do much to fight against the elements, but nevertheless, I can still pray for you and I definitely will. I have uh, 
several subscribers that are in the Bahamas. And believe me, I am thinking about each and every one of you. And I just hope wherever you are, you are safe. It is scary going through a hurricane and you just feel so helpless and there's not much you can do. I know you're gonna have to really go through a lot even after the hurricane pass. There's gonna be issues with electricity. You're gonna have a bunch of down trees and down wires and buildings destroyed. It's going to be a tough road for our brothers and sisters in the Bahamas, ladies and gentlemen. They're pretty much in the same boat with Puerto Rico now and the U.S. Virgin Islands. You know, please stay safe. And those of you that are in the states that are going to take a hit, um, Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinas, please get yourself prepared. You see what's happening in the Bahamas. Get yourself ready. If you can get out of those locations and get to a place more inland, try to do it. I know everybody can't afford to run. I do realize that. And those of you that just can't leave, um, just try to make sure you make the environment for yourself and your family as safe as possible. Oh my goodness. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video.